Hey Warriors, uh, welcome to this video. I'm going to make this really quick and short. I just want to give you an inside look of what the plugin does, what it looks like, and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. I'm going to walk you through a live example. So um, in my demo site, let's go ahead and first get the plugin installed. You see it's not there, so let's add new. This is going to redirect me, allow me to upload it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click on Upload. I'm going to find the zip file. I'll probably have this blurred out. Okay, we found it. Let's go ahead and install now. Now, as long as everything installs okay, it should look like that. Activate plugin. So, now we got it added. You'll see the new option under Settings, WPGO Attack. Go ahead and click on that. Now, here's a quick overview of all the plugin options. Let's just edit down some important ones, and then we'll go from there. I'm not going to have this on all pages and posts, so this bulk option I'm going to leave unchecked. Uh, I want it to instantly show up, so we're going to leave that at zero seconds, it appears. So as soon as the page loads, it's there. Now we're going to have it close after 60 seconds. Okay, I am going to show the timer in this case. You can choose not to. Um, Pop-up frequency I'm going to have on every refresh. And then pop up, um, close pop-up on click. I'm going to go ahead and have that set to uh, false. Here you see we get a first look at all the geo uh, short codes, geo targeting short codes. Um, there's a ton of them here. So as it works is we have this HTML uh, area for the plugin. It's just like your pages and posts, how you normally create them. We have visual and HTML version or mode. And so what you would do is you would just copy and paste all these short codes wherever you wanted them to show up in the pop-up. So I've got some dummy text already here, that's default. And then it, it's, uh, it shows you here a little bit of the usage as it defaultly plugs in country name and city. You can change this to whatever you like, add an HTML, do whatever. Okay, so we're not gonna mess with the plugin CSS at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and click on update changes. You see settings saved. The bottom half of this is all the fancy box options. So we've got padding, margin, opacities, width, height, yada, 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 all the way down. I'm gonna leave those all the same except for close, uh, show close button. I don't wanna show that. Escape will also close them out. I don't want that. So set it to false, update changes. Now let's go ahead and add this to a page. Here I am at uh, my about us page, just a dummy page. To get this to activate, when you choose not to use the bulk option, you have to select them one by one. So select the page and click on update. Okay, that's updated. Let's look at the live page now. Go ahead and refresh. You see I've got my pop-up window here, okay? There's no way to escape it because of my settings and my refinements. So people are gonna know that in 50 seconds I can either do whatever's down here or I can just uh, wait for that to happen and close out. I could hide this counter too, so people think that they have to do whatever it is you're asking within this. I could change this background color. I know the background color is white the te or black. The text is white. If you didn't like that, you can change that really, really quickly within the CSS file. I'll show you that real quick. So right now the background is set to black, which is 000. If we change that to F, 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 that is three Fs. That will change it to white. And then let's change the text to black, so 000. So we just flip-flop the two, update changes, and then let's come back and refresh, and you're gonna see a whole new look. There you go. So if you wanted more traditional look or you wanted to change it to whatever color you wanted, you could quickly and easily do so as you just saw me do. So as you can see, there, this is a very robust plugin. We've got our short codes tied in here, United States and city name. So those can tie in anywhere you want via the short code within this um, this pop-up or this fancy box. Okay, so I'd like you guys to continue to, to please read the sales copy and really start to dive into exactly what you get in this WSO. You'll see that right below we start to get into all the bonuses and all the goodies I have added. So please quickly just scroll through that, take a look, and um, you know do not hesitate on this offer. We're adding in developer rights for the first 48 hours on this dirt cheap dime sale and then the price is going to go up. So take advantage of it, and we'll see you on the other side.